Good afternoon everybody. This is Wild on Twos and thank you for joining my channel. Please, if you please remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the like and the little bell on the side. It will give you notifications of any uh, future videos I do. So today I'm just taking a ride here in San Antonio. It's beautiful weather, clear skies and it's 78 degrees. We are passing by Fort Sam, the Army Reserve out here, but this is Fort Sam. Well, today, guys, my topic is, are millennials killing motorcycles? The recent events of, of course, the CEO who just resigned a couple days ago from Harley Davidson. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have my opinions. You guys can uh, put in the comments uh, your opinions on this subject matter. But for the past years, I've been going back and forth with several people about if millennials are killing motorcycles. It's two, gener it's two different generations. You have the younger and the older generation. The younger generation is trying to use motorcycles as an ease of transportation. Older generations, it was more of a hobby, recreational use. Younger generation, which are the millennials, they go for looks and looking cool in a different way and they go with trends. Older generations was more of a rebel re type of look. We still want to look cool, don't get me wrong, but we didn't give a shit what people thought about us. They don't, I don't care if my pipes are too loud. I don't care how my bike looks. I don't care how much gas or mileage I, I ride for the freedom of the ride. That's what I ride for. Uh, so of course, Harley has been getting hit with this anybody who's been selling bigger bikes which majority is Harley you have Indian the only difference is Indian Polaris has multiple avenue revenue streams in different areas I mean it's not just motorcycles Harley is just motorcycles so they're taking a massive hit you're talking pre 2007 Harley was increasing the revenue stream every year I mean they hit a peak in 2007 of a billion dollars but here comes a crash 2008 second largest crash since the Great Depression and uh, who are the people in that generation during that the Millennials so at that point you got to be taking a look at is it the Millennials or is it the economy that caused all this And in my opinion, doesn't mean I'm right. After everything I've been researching, uh, I just think it was more of an economical issue. You have in 2008, the crash. All these students came out with, there's over 20 million students with debt in the US right now. So you're, you're talking they have debts with low paying jobs. They can't afford to pay their debt. They really can't. You're talking about they have their finance payments is the cost of a motorcycle of at least eight to $10,000. And nowadays, if you can find a great new bike for $8,000, I mean, good luck. I mean, unless you're shopping for smaller bikes. But that's where the big bikes are not being sold. Here comes 2014, Harley Davidson finally gets back up. Hey, you get it. Um, they started doing a good push, selling some bikes, but they're back on a decline. This past 12 months, they're 32% down on their shares. 32% down. That's a shitload of shares down. Um, you have the looks of the statistics. Are the millennials killing the motorcycles? Not really. They're buying bikes. They're still buying a lot of bikes. But the problem is they're buying smaller bikes, cost a lot less. So these millennials are buying bikes that are more used for transportation from point A to point B. They can buy a motorcycle for two, three thousand dollars. The margins are slim for Harley to sell these bikes. So they're selling bikes but the margins are so slim. It's not those big, big bikes. So that's why they come up and develop the live wire, the electric bike. They're trying to 
cater to the uh, millennial younger generation. The only problem is the live wire is not going to be cheap. The millennials, they're, I mean, they're already, well, they're like in their 20s and 30s. They're looking at bikes like Ducati, Cafe, the Cafe Racers, uh, Kawasaki with the Vulcan S. Vulcan S is a, a prime example of a bike brand new, $7,000. $7,000 and they can buy a nice decent bike with a ninja mortar, smooth gear transitions, enough power for the highway. So it's, it's a tough pill to swallow for Harley that they're going to have to start competing with and trying to develop smaller, uh, almost like their sports stores but in different ways. I mean Indian has the Scott, uh, the Scott Bobbers. But uh, growing up, when I was growing up, I was riding dirt bikes. Nowadays, they don't ride dirt bikes growing up. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know what your kids are doing, but I mean, hopefully if the, the group I'm talking to grew up with bikes, I mean, we want to push our kids to ride motorcycles. I mean, uh, that's what we could love, right? Uh, so, I mean, ultimately, I don't think it's just the millennial gen generation. Uh, I mean, the baby boomers uh, from 40s to 50s and are getting older. We make a little more money probably. We're a little more established. We can afford Harleys of $20,000, Indians, um, different bikes, big bikes that are expensive. But the younger guys can't. They have a lot of debt. I don't totally blame the young guys. I, I think it's the economy that uh, where they kind of graduated college and the jobs that were available at that time. So, guys, I mean, I think that's in a nutshell what I think is really happening. I think Harley's going to have to, and, I, and they're going to do it. I don't think they're doomed. Everybody's saying they're doomed. They're not going to be doomed. They've been around for such a long time. They're going to develop the right amount of bikes, the kind of bikes for the younger generation, I think, and uh, I think they'll do fine. But, I mean, they better start moving. Uh, Indian is doing a fantastic job uh, pushing the market with all their bikes now. Uh, so, ultimately, it's up to Harley what they want to do in the future and it has to be the near future so you guys just comment let me know your opinions I mean like I said my opinion it does it's not the opinion it's just my opinion what's kind of going on um, you guys let me know in the comments remember hit the subscribe like button notification uh, my next video is going to be buying and comparing used versus new bikes uh, so if there's any topics or anything you guys want me to talk about leave it in the comment section well I hope you guys stay on twos, remember, go ride. If you're not riding more, go, go buy one. And if you can't buy one, go borrow one. Go rent one. I don't know, but either way, go ride. It's a freedom of ride. Love you guys. Have a wonderful evening. God bless. <laughs>